two ways to do it. You can't just pull it off. It doesn't really come off, and you'll lose a lot of the fish. So what I do is I start cutting part of it like this. And then you can figure out, kind of slice a little in, and pull a little bit off of the outside of the fish. You really don't lose that much. But you want that kind of ugly, uh, ugly deal off of there as well. Now most uh, fishmongers won't won't actually clean this up for you. You can lift it up and do it this way as well. And you just try not to try to lose as little of the fish as possible. Okay. And I'm sure there's some people out there that do this every single day that are laughing at me. I did these little fillets here. All right. But what I don't want you to do is to take these and try to do it in big old huge chunks. All right. We want to thin these out some. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to cut thinly along here. Lay it out. And then cut thinly along the other side. And then we're going to lay this out as well. Okay? What we end up with is kind of like a, basically a real thin fillet. Now, you can pound this out either with your hand or with something else, but it's basically ready to go, just like a piece of veal. Now, I'm going to throw it in flour over here. I'm going to set it aside, and I'm going to get the other one ready to go. Same thing on this one. You just want to pound it out with your hand. We'll go ahead and get it. Now, really, the oil is heated up, and it's a big, huge pan. It's just the only one I could find out with a non stick pan. So it's like, just like veal, see that little thing? So we're going to throw a little flour in there. If the flour cooks real quick, that means the oil's ready. We're going to drop our monkfish down in our oil. And this is just olive oil. And this stuff will cook, and I'm telling you, when I say fast, I mean fast. It will cook fast. So the next thing we want to do today is start getting our salsa ready that's going to go on top of it. Now, what I have for you here are a few different items. I've got red onion, green pepper, yellow pepper, pepperoncinis, tomatoes, uh, a little feta cheese, some cucumber, carrots, uh, and a little bit of celery. We're just going to throw all of those in there. Nice and easy. With a little bit of Italian dressing. It's about a cup of Italian dressing. All you have to do is toss it out. Now you can cut the tomatoes down if you want. You can break your feta cheese up if you want. It's really up to you flavor-wise. Now some people would put Kalamata olives in here, which I think tastes absolutely fantastic. Either way, you've got a marvelous, marvelous item to throw over your fish. Now if you have a look at our fish, it's cooking up beautifully. And give it a little turn, and it really does start to look like lobster. All right? We've probably got a, maybe two minutes left on this thing. If you overcook monkfish, it's just like shrimp. It's absolutely terrible, and you really don't want to do that. So let's get our plate cleaned up here. Monkfish will be ready to go in just a second. And we'll have that beautiful salsa to put on top of it. Can't really ask for anything more. Okay, now we're actually ready to plate this monkfish. I'm just going to turn it over. And don't cook it enough, it'll be chewy. Hmm, come on, that's awesome. Here it goes. Here it goes. Right there. A little extra piece. This back over here. Now, you got this beautiful salsa. What you want to do is just drape it over the top. You get this thing served up, and I don't care who you are or what kind of day you've had, 
That's what we're eating for dinner. Accompanied with anything. So you figured out how to do this beautiful monkfish. You can give this one a try at home. Monkfish is expensive and it doesn't look like you're throwing some of it away. You're really not. It's just trimming on the outside just like you would do with meat. Okay, enjoy yourself. Try this. It's a great summer item. I don't know if you can make anything that looks any healthier than this. Thank you very much.